This is a video I made of the Christchurch event. I didn't upload it at the time, there's a lot of censorship going on, but I put it up on Rumble, links in the description. It goes for about 20 minutes, and it's about how they had to control the scene, and they had to actually keep the majority of the New Zealand police away from the scene. They couldn't have them in there. That's what this video is about. So, um, yeah, if you've got some time, it's over on Rumble. They're actual Christchurch New Zealand police officers. Now, you would think 50 people had just been shot, you know, they would be a bit more engaged in the situation rather than just standing and milling around talking to each other. Who are these guys? Who are these guys that are dressed as cops that are uh, taking the lead in this? Because if you watch it in slow motion, they're the guys that are in action. And bring the stretcher uh, a few, uh, maybe two or three. And here's obviously more New Zealand cops, actually Christchurch cops in their uniforms, and they're doing the walk, carrying the guns for the cameras. But again, they're just here at crowd control. Who's this guy on the left who seems to be have a, uh, you know, doing a hand signal to someone? He's not in a cop uniform. So there's a lot of people getting around, not in cop uniforms, doing a lot of kind of directing. You know, the spot so I saw him. Hang on a minute. Was that the chic? Was that the shooting? He's got, I don't think it's his blood. It's all these other people's blood on him. He was given a servant or something. <laughs> what? If you look there, it's got. Backwards riding metro video surveillance she use it. And the metro he's on a bus. Shouldn't he be like either in an ambulance, you know, might be a bit shaken up, might need to be taken to hospital for observations, or at the very least in a cop car to give because this is obviously the same day, he's still got that shirt on. What's he what the what is he doing on a bus? <laughs> so this is from another story done by the same journo, little Katie. Oh Katie so She's just writing what she's told to write. Right, the first armed officers, presumably the overseas and the New Zealand Defence Force and Australian cops or Defence Force, whatever, arrived at the hour almost after six minutes after the call out. And the armed officers squad, which is the New Zealand cops, arrived within 10 minutes. So here's that vision of the supposed, you know, they said they were in plain clothes with machine guns. These guys were doing the course, all kitted up with live rounds. Well, they're having to get into cop cars to leave. Well, if they're having to get into cop cars to leave, how did they get there <laughs> before the cops got there? Well, where's their transportation? Ran into seemingly ready to battle with machine guns and live rounds in a foreign country. <laughs> Where are they getting their permission from? What, was their government going to say to their cops within that time? Oh, yeah, that's okay. If you're over there, and you're asked to start shooting up, you got out, you know, that, that's fine. <laughs> that would breach so many international agreements. There is absolutely no way this is in any way believable. 